and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel my name is Om, and in today's video i'm going to show you how i created this smoky green makeup look this look is inspired by my friend annie which i met in la last year um, she posted this gorgeous green look in her instagram story and i was like girl damn that's so beautiful and also i realized i haven't done something green for a while so this is inspired by annie i'll put her name in uh, over instagram in the description bar so you can check her out she's really sweet and i'm sure you guys will love her but yeah without further ado let's get started i hope you guys will enjoy this video so the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids i'm using the mac soft ochre paint pot and this will make sure that all the eyeshadows that i will apply stay in place all day and then i just set it with some translucent powder then the first shade i'm going in with is this matte white shade from a palette from the balm cosmetics which is called the the balm meat matte nude and I'm taking this matte Malloy shade and just pressing this right underneath the brow bone to highlight and this will also slightly make my brows look lifted. Then I'm taking the shade from Makeup Geek which is called Peach Moody, a very soft peachy light color. And I'm just going to blend this all over my crease going back and forth using my Sigma E40 brush which is one of my favorite blending brushes for in my crease. Um, which is also included in my Sigma Beauty collaboration brush kit. I have it linked down in the description bar. Then I'm taking the next shade which is from Colourpop and it's in the shade Tiki. And I'm going to blend it in my crease as well. I'm just going back and forth and slowly building it up. I am going to use a lot of green colors today. Um, but I feel like um, to have a little bit of this yellow peaking right above those green shades will give it a little bit of a different twist and make it more of a warmer eye look. So then I'm taking this color, which is by um, Makeup Geek as well, called, what is the name? It's, oh, it's not by Makeup Geek, sorry. It's by Colourpop as well. It's called Team Captain. And I'm going to slowly, bl bl I'm going to slowly blend it in my crease as well. Not trying to blend too much uh, like in once because it's quite a dark shade compared to the ones I used before. Um, so I took a brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I believe is called the A25. And I'm just going to slowly build it up. Now I went in with more, um, but just a tip, start with less product. You can always build it up by going back in with more. But if you go in with too much, it's a lot harder to make it more blended out. So that's just a trick that really works for me. Just start with not too much product, basically. Then I'm going in with this gel eyeliner from Sigma Beauty, which is called the Wicca Gel Eyeliner. One of my favorite gel eyeliners all time. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of that in my inner corner area, softly pressing it and also at my outer V area. Since this is a halo eye look, I want the outer, well the round, well how do I say it? The crease area and the outer ends to be very dark, so that's why I'm using this black as a base. And then since it's quite harsh and dark, I'm taking this Makeup Geek Transform eyeshadow, blending this around the edges to make sure that it blends into the colors I used before um, just to make the transition look more smooth. When I go in with a dark shade, I always go back in with a lighter color to make sure that it doesn't look as harsh. Um, this is just a trick um, that will really help. So if you have like a lot of dark edges and it looks harsh, just go in with a shade which is slightly lighter and this way you can kind of erase those harsh edges. I really hope that will help you. Um, just let me know in the comments if you tried it already because I mentioned it in my different videos. Um, and I would love to know if any of these tips help you guys because I just wanna help you. <laughs> now I'm taking this shade which is by Makeup Geek as well called Limelight, such a gorgeous color. Pressing this on the eyelids, keeping it like mainly in the middle part. And to apply this, I'm using my MAC 242 brush. Uh, which is my favorite brush for applying eyeshadows on the eyelid. Then around the edges, I'm taking that shade Transform again, which I also used in the crease around the edges. Um, applying this around the edges of the Limelight color as well to make it blend into the dark shades at my outer V. It's kind of hard to explain for me since 
Dutch is my first language and English isn't. But I really hope that whatever I'm saying, that you kind of know what I'm trying to say. Um, because sometimes I don't really know what uh, words to use. So now I'm taking a NYX matte liquid liner, my favorite liquid liner. And I'm going to create a very simple black line above the lash line. You can also go for a winged liner, but with this particular eyeshadow look, I want to just keep it simple. Now I'm taking the Mr. Right pencil, and this is a black pencil from the Balm Cosmetics. A really nice one, they recently launched the new pencils. And I'm going to apply this in my waterline to make it extra black and smoky, since this is a very smoky eye look today. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow, which is from Makeup Geek, called Corrupt. And I'm going to press this right underneath the lower lash line and also slightly on top of my waterline to make it extra black. Then taking that shade uh, Transform again from Makeup Geek, blending this right underneath it using a pencil brush. And since I use this in my crease as well, you can see now that it's really easy. Now that I'm blending that, that it kind of connects with my crease. And then I took the shade Chickadee from Makeup Geek as well, blending this around the outer V area, like around the edges, to warm it all up, also underneath the lower lash line. Since I used a warm shade in my crease, I wanted to kind of make it all in balance by doing the same stuff at the lower lash line. And if you're wondering, the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M506. Then I'm taking this light shade, which kind of has a gold reflex, which is called Full Touch, also by Makeup Geek. I'll put all the names in the description bar in case you want to know what exact products I used, because I know I used a lot of different ones in this video. And now I'm going to finish off the rest of the face. I'm going to start with the MAC Oak Lip Liner, which is a lip liner with a sort of brown undertone, which I really like to use whenever I go for a nude lip. And that's what I'm going to do today. Since my eyes are quite dramatic, I want to keep the lips a little bit more soft. Then I took this NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick and I'm going to apply this right on top of it. This is a very gorgeous soft pink color and those type of shades are always my favorite. And since this one is a drugstore, I think that's really nice. Um, NYX is so affordable and they always come out with like a lot of trendy new stuff. So yeah, this one is definitely really nice. Now I'm taking this contour shade uh, from Makeup Forever. This is like a palette with a highlight shade a matte highlight shade and a contour shade and using this to kind of carve out my cheekbones to make them stand out more. Then I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder which is my absolute favorite uh, to bronze up my skin. It's not too warm, not too cool, it just gives me a very nice warm glow all over the face. So I use this on top of my cheekbones and also on my forehead. I especially really like it to bronze my forehead. Then I'm taking this Too Faced Hangover Spray and I'm going to use this to set my whole face. I wanted to use this um, right after doing my bronzer because I want to go in with a uh, cream highlighter from this Huda Beauty palette. And since I used powders and stuff all over my face, I wanted to kind of make sure that my skin wasn't really powdery anymore because I was scared that the combination of this cream and powder wouldn't really work together. So that's why I used the setting spray first. And it worked really nice. I used my beauty blender to blend it on the skin. Then I used a different Huda Beauty palette with a very nice, gorgeous powder highlighter. And I blended it on top of it. Um, I feel like the combination is really gorgeous. My highlight was popping that day. I think if you use a, a cream highlighter with a powder on top of it, it just looks really beautiful. So I also applied a little bit on my lips and then I'm taking the Peaches Blush from MAC Cosmetics, applying this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it towards the highlighter to make these two products blend into each other. And this is a really gorgeous soft color. Then I'm taking this Huda Beauty powder, um, which is in the shade Baby Cakes, and applying this a little bit underneath the jawline just to carve it out and to make it a little bit more sharp. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I really like how it turned out. I'm really into colors lately. Not only into colorful eyeshadows, but also into colorful clothes. I always used to only wear like black clothes or white, but lately everything is color. So I guess I'm in a very colorful spirit. <laughs> I don't know what is going on, but I'm just really digging the colors. 
but yeah, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye guys Restless mood.